Uh, yeah, testimony continues right now, like you said, on what could be the last full day of testimony. Jurors today heard some very critical testimony, like you mentioned, about the black box that was recovered from Townsend's truck. That's like the kind of thing you usually hear about in, in airplane crashes. It records exactly what's going on. In this case, it recorded the last five seconds of this crash. Today, an officer from the Norman Police Department saying he reviewed that data. He believes that black box shows that Townsend was intentionally steering the truck in those last few seconds. Of course, that is so important because it could cut against the defense case that he was actually knocked out behind the wheel. The defense lawyers pointing out the black bo box also does not show the brake or the gas pedal being applied. They uh, are arguing that that would likely be happening if someone was in control of the car. Also today we heard some testimony about Townsend's blood alcohol level. It was about at a point zero six by the time he got to the hospital after the crash. The nurse saying he told her he had choked on a Red Bull and passed out, although she said she'd never heard anything like that before. And we just walked out of the courtroom just now. Some very emotional testimony from an officer uh, as they walked through some uh, frame by frame video of this crash from the high school where you can actually see uh, the crash happened. He talked about how he determined uh, the speeds. You can see the truck go from about 24, 25 miles an hour all the way to almost 80 miles an hour. We expect the state will rest very soon. Then, of course, the defense will take their turn. We think the jury will start deliberating possibly as soon as tomorrow, but we expect before the end of the week, we'll bring you breaking updates about all of that as soon as it happens. But for now, in Norman, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.